Sarah, it looks like the Riddler dropped off a package for us, but what do you think is inside? I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what to say. Well, all right, we'll find out after this then. Well, they already saw the B-roll, so they would know what it is. What but... is it? It looks like a mystery surprise secret, and also a carnival trick. And it was packed by a, you know, a clown. those clowns. <laughs> oh. Well. That's Ooh. how it's supposed to go. It's Green River. Foolproof. It's Green River foolproof. <laughs> surprise. I knew I shouldn't have opened this before, because I knew I wouldn't be able to get it back the way it originally I was. Have, I have to say, I've never seen a bottle arrive with such mystery. Pops for cork pop. Pretty good. No riddle there. No. I knew what that was gonna sound Pretty like. Pretty straightforward. So this is a blend of five and seven year. It's a small batch. Uh, five to seven year, I guess I should say. 70% uh, corn, 21% rye, and 9% malted barley. Mm -hmm. And it is foolproof. Yeah. This foolproof is what, 117.3, 117.5? 117.3. Sorry, that's yeah. what I thought. MSRP, 49.99, 50 bucks yeah. for a foolproof Blend of five to seven year. Not bad. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Not now bad. they they go into the barrel at 120 proof. So if you're thinking, well, 117.3 isn't that high, you know, it could be 100, 130. We have seen single barrels that have been at 130 proof. Right. Uh, we definitely so, have. Uh, so those must have been its entire life up at, at the tippy top the of the top. warehouse. But in general, you're gonna you know see it around um, this this proof. It's got kind of a candied honey thing going on mm -hmm. the nose. Very yeah. like sweet, yeah, like honeycomb. And that spice, it's not quite black pepper, but it's sort of like a pepper spice. It's very gentle though. I mean, but I would expect some spice with the 21% rye. You know what I almost get? What? White chocolate. White chocolate peppermint? Mm -hmm. Intriguing. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are no wrong answers in whiskey. That's right. Except that one. No! Mm -hmm. I get it. It brings it to mind. I don't know I why I the, brought it to mind. Okay, I get like the peppermint chocolate thing. Let's see, she just had to get there on her own. But it also has this like mm. um, gummy worms note to it. This very like confectionery sugar candied thing going on. Yeah. Now what I'm not getting that I remember from the first Green River release, the uh, 90 proof ride bourbon, was this uh, deep dark barrel type of. Hmm. Influence. Well, you know, it is a five, only, well, oh, five to seven. Yeah, so. no, was, yeah. Anyway, different barrels. Different barrels, different strokes, different folks. To your health. Woo! Woo, that's Woo! What that's a hot 117.3. Oh, that'll wake whoa. you right up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Also my first sip of whiskey for the day. So same, same. I'll give the first taste. It's just an acclamation, so correct. We'll and it's also Fresh crack, neck pour, all those terms that some people strongly believe in, other people's other people don't. But you know, we've noticed it to be a thing, so we are gonna let it open up in the glass later. These are sort of our Just, first impressions. Yeah, here. one more sip, real quick. Ha <laughs> ha. On the second sip, I'm okay. definitely way more acclimated. Yes, but it is still. It does have some ooh, meat. Ooh, it has some, some meat, meat to it. Keep some um, meat down there. It does have that like candied mm. confectionery sweetness up front. But man, does that spice come in? Uh, it's got towards some, the mid palate. Ooh. Yes, uh, it's sort of got some Thirsty. red hots mm. um, on the on the finish, for sure. Um, like cinnamon, cinnamon. I was thinking like cinnamon uh, gum, like big gum. Red. Mm. Uh, what was that cinnamon gum called that my parents always had? Not big I, red, right? I don't think it was Big Red. It was like Cinnadent or cine, uh, Dentine Cinnamon. I don't know. That's the thing. Yeah. Uh, but I was, you have any gum? And it's, it was always, it was always the I was cinnamon. like, nope, never mind. <laughs> I wanted minty gum mm -hmm. or fruity gum, yeah. not cinnamon gum. I don't, why would you want, I don't know. Some people like cinnamon gum. But yeah, sort of that, uh, that Red Hot, that, um, mm -hmm. cool. Definitely okay. there on the back end. I agree with that. I'm interested. This is one where, like, even though it's not over 120 proof, I am interested in what it could do with a couple drops of water, what that's gonna do to that heat. But first we'll let it open up for yeah. a few minutes. And we'll let it sit here for about 10 minutes in the glass and we'll come back. And while we wait, we wanna tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you get the t-shirt that I'm wearing. Of course the glasses that we're drinking from, including our water glasses and all of our glassware, including our mini Glens and Sarah with the Father's Day sale going on right now. Mm -hmm. The uh, Glen Karen tasting kit, which yeah. has 
four of this exact Glencairn in there. Mm -hmm. Four uh, toppers and- And a pipette. And you got your pipette, which we'll use later for our water. It's a nice little tasting set. Absolutely, plus you get 10% off site-wide, excluding items that are already on sale, and free shipping on orders $75 and over. More always coming soon. I didn't even list all the stuff this time at whiskeyambitions.com. I'm sure glad you didn't list all the stuff because that barely gave me any time to talk about patreon.com slash experimentite where you can join and become one of our community members for as little as one buck a month, barrel picks, after the episode exclusives, mm. access to events, and mm. more. We'll just keep it short. Keep it short, but we gotta talk a little bit more because there's names scrolling here oh, of that's our true. wonderful people. Um, well, that's great. Some of those wonderful people came to Ireland with us earlier right. this year, and that was the Scotland last year. They got first access to those trips because they are patrons. We got a lot of barrel picks coming out over the next two months. Yeah. Um, they will also get first crack at those. Boom. Okay, that's enough time. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. It's been about 10 minutes. We want to go back in on this next sip uh, before we add some water, see how time has, mm. uh, what time has done to this. Nose is very much the same. It is. I still get like a, ba a freshly opened bag of gummy worms, but like um, the sour gummy worms, the ones that are like two different colors in the same gummy worm, not like the, I don't know how you say it, Haribo? Uh, yeah, Haribo. Yeah, Haribo. Haribo. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> not those gummy okay, worms. Not those. If I have to compare it to a chip, and I feel like now I do, uh, the closest thing I would get would be opening a bag of barbecue chips. I, I knew you were gonna say that. Really good barbecue, but if I have to go into the chip world, that's where I'm going. I was gonna say those. What are they? Zaps voodoo chips. Also that. I yeah. think that that mm -hmm, like mis mm -hmm. mystery spice. You guys remember the potato oh, skin right. chips? No, no. Potato skins. I don't remember who made it, but man, those were good. That sounds disgusting. Oh no, I loved them. Of course, course they were called. <laughs> of course you did. Oh, they were. Sounds about right. It was sort of shaped like a small Pringle. All right, Pringle. let's move on. All right, let's they move on. It's know. an uncorking. They, they want to <laughs> Uncorking has room for these types of tangents. Okay. Check out again. You know, now that it's opened up in the glass, I am getting more of that deeper, darker barrel. I was just thinking the same thing. The barrel is creeping in the heat. But I feel like the 90 proof maybe even had some more. Maybe. Well, I think the heat from the proof and that 21% rye being at this proof is really coming to the forefront. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, oak, those oaky notes are kind of hanging to the back, which is why I do want to add a couple drops of water. Mm -hmm. Not because I can't handle it. Not because I don't like it. Just because I want to see what happens to it. We'll see what it, yeah. Does it quell that heat some? Does it allow the oak to come through a little bit more? What happens? We don't know. But let's find out. Those are three drops of water. Well, I love how it doesn't, it's not like a fire hose opening up, you know, it definitely yeah, you just get gives the you drops. A, just gives you a few drops and that's what it's made for. Yeah, it's very hard to over dropper with right. that pipette. Yes. All right. Three drops, get it all swirly swirl. Those is still the same. A little more sweetness, I feel like. Yeah, it just brings the sweetness out more. Hmm. Oh, see. Hey, I got mine be on something here. For me, oh, that made this way more balanced. Yeah. It took that, I mean, it's still got it heat to it. It does start to build, yeah. You can tinker with, I think, the amount of water that you add, but that really brought it down even more. Much more To let palate. that oak come through and yeah. have more balance than just like hot, spicy. Yeah. I'm still getting it on the back end, but Can you give me I had uh, much more of a moment with the palate for kind of some of that heat came on. Yeah, I added about three or four more drops of water. Oh, I'll do that Just too. to see what happens. That's the thing I like about foolproof products, especially at 50 bucks. Like you could spend $50 on another 100 proof product, let's say. But if you add water to this, if you find that you like it with a little bit of water, you're actually stretching, stretching this it. bottle just a little further. You out. get an extra pour or two out of it. I think that's a great value. Um, I'm sure this would also be really good over like a big cube of ice because it's gonna dilute slower. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be a good fit for a bottle like this. I don't know. No, you I'm like it. I feel like it went too far. It it took some of the personality away from the palette, but. I will say I'm not getting that heat on the back end now. I mean, there is still some heat. So it's a trade-off for but, me. Yeah, I think somewhere in between that, like I put what in like three to seven drops of water, somewhere in there. And of I put, course I had drank it down a little bit too. I hadn't right. measured, we didn't measure exactly. So yeah. take that with a grain of salt, but a little bit of water mm -hmm. does benefit this, I think. I, I would agree. I ended up putting eight into mine. Mm -hmm. And maybe if I had done that from the very beginning with the, you know, my full with pour, full pour, yeah. full pour, the full proof, uh, it would have been better. But you know, we always say you know, try it as is first. Try it neat, and then if you Go feel like 
putting it over a big cube, as you said, or adding some water. But again, then that's what you do. Start with three drops. Mm -hmm. You can always add more. It's harder yeah. to take them away. It is, it is harder. It's you have to kind of start over. You have to drink over. it and start over. Start you know, over. it's a whole thing. It is a whole thing. <laughs> Oops, mm. gotta start over. All in all, I think that this is a good value for $50 yeah. for that 117 proof blend of five to seven year. And the ability to, again, like dial the proof in where you feel best, I don't know. To me, it's a different animal than the 290 proofers, the rye bourbon and the weeded bourbon. It's uh, definitely sort of in its own league with that 117.3, you know, it's just bringing different flavors to the forefront. But I think it is a good value for the 50 bucks. I think this is one that you can stretch further, as you said, with the, with the water and experiment until you find that perfect ratio. So that's kind of fun. And I look forward to finding that perfect ratio. And also, as we drink this down, as it has more time with the air, we might not even need that later. Right, So that's the whole thing. We'll it's, keep an eye on it's it. A, it's a developing process, mm -hmm. right? But uh, recommend or not, I'm going to give it the recommend. I think you should uh, give this a try. I'm gonna say yes as well. I think you should check it out. Okay, there we go. Well, that's where we'll have to leave it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. <laughs>